So it was the late 70s, I was living on the Visadero and saw this ad in a San Francisco gay newspaper about a skivvies party at UC Berkeley. And I said, there should really be some pretty interesting uh, guys at Berkeley. And it was certainly close enough to where I was working. So after work, I went over and it was, um, we, we left our clothes and paper bags and uh, except for our, our skivvies. I saw this guy on the other side of the room and he had the most beautiful chest. I grew up uh, really fond of hairy chests and uh, didn't really know the meaning of it when I was a little kid. I just thought it was attractive. But certainly I knew the meaning of, of it that night. I'd never <clears throat> met anyone quite like Luke. He was, uh, and, and it seemed too that he was cruising me and I was at that point pretty good at picking up the clues. And I was just totally fascinated with everything he had to say and missed a lot of the other stories that was going around the circle. Then there was a break and we were, you know, we had um, refreshments and then it was just mingling and talking to each other while I only had eyes and words for Luke. So I talked only with him that evening. And at the end of the evening, and I don't know where this came from, but I just said, uh, would you like to come home with me? And he lived in Berkeley. I lived on Divisadero, halfway between the Castro and the Marina. And, and he did. Uh, I led the way, found parking places for both of us. And um, it was just, um, just a magical evening. From that time onward, I, I, I only dated Luke. Um, we spent virtually every weekend together. Uh, summers, we spent we uh, uh, spent a lot of time traveling, sometimes a week at a time, and uh, it was always very, very wonderful. But early on in the relationship, my roommate was out for the evening, and so Luke and I were, <laughs> Luke and I were making love in the living room uh, by the fire. Uh, there's only only the light from the firelight was illuminating the room. It was it was one of the really peak experiences. Certainly at that point, I had rarely experienced anything as passionate and as sustained as that evening. But the firelight was just so. It was like magic on his skin. And the relationship went on for years. We, um, uh, I actually lost my job in California after one year. I came back to Boston. He had a couple of years of graduate school to do. But during those years, we spent every Easter vacation, every Christmas vacation, because we had similar vacation periods. One summer vacation we spent in Belgium with his parents at their house. and. Uh, they thought we were best friends and he was not out to his parents. We once went, we were on our bikes and, and Luke started undressing on his bike until he was down to his skivvies. This is one of my other favorite fantasies that I played often through the years and it still is just such a wonderful experience and uh, to see him almost naked on his bike was really something and of course he stayed at an appropriate distance in front of me. There's another facet to these uh, bike trips or to these excursions to the countryside because because we were keeping our love makings we were keeping our love making a secret. It made the love making so much more valuable. Then one spring semester we were making plans. We started to make plans to get together the following summer and While we were making plans, um, Luke told me that uh, he was living with a lover, that he had found someone else, that he had found another lover. And um, I needed quite, uh, I needed some time to figure that out. And I decided to go to San Francisco that summer anyway. And um, the three of us became friends, um, and from time to time I would still make love with Luke. 
Um, and it was never a threesome, but the three of us were friends. Uh, the two of them, in fact, rented an apartment for me that summer in the building where they were, were living. And um, Luke will always be just a, a very, very incredible person in my life. And he will always, always be a lover. And he, he still is an ideal, and, and he was an ideal from the time I first met him. So I do carry this picture with me. And sometimes he's on a bike, <laughs> and sometimes he's in front of a fire.